Yo, what's up, Block Fam? We are in the Blockhead garage today. This is up because you're not Blockhead. I know, and you're actually, it's, I guess it's a takeover because now you have Justin and apparently the coolest guy ever, right? That's what we gotta say, but I'm not Blockhead, so I'm not gonna bug you about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what are we doing today? So Block is out with the dreaded COVID. I'm gonna put these fishtails on, those, on the uh, Suck Punch giveaway. Gonna get rid of these nasty headers and put some some big tall fishtails, which I believe you guys voted on. All right, Chris is opening the box. I know Block usually does the snap, but for me, I'm gonna do one of these. There they are. You guys voted, and now Sucker Punch is getting the fishtails. Actually, before we do, bro, light that up for me. <laughs> so fishtails on. <laughs> fam sorry i can't be there i am out sick with the vid so i'm leaving you guys in the very capable hands of chris sick white blood and justin iron j moto thank you for your understanding stay healthy out there <laughs> but this is a soft tail frame where the swing arm would normally be since this is a rigid that portion of the frame doesn't exist according to that illustration this would go where the rear passenger peg would go on a soft tail, which would normally be right about here. But obviously we're not gonna get that because there's nowhere to mount that. Right. This can't just live in the, in the air. So what I'm gonna do at this point is mount the exhaust pipes. We're going to situate them. For example, let's just say, okay, this one's gonna ride here. I'll mount these and bolt this up and then we'll fix this one and we'll do the second one and we'll figure out what we need to make and I'm gonna have to make something that either comes off of here and up to both of these pipes or potentially comes from the rear to these. It depends, once I get it mounted, we'll figure that part out. But <clears throat> this will require some custom bracketry in order to mount properly. But if you get a visual, that's kind of how it's gonna look and how where it's gonna ride. I think that looks pretty cool. Nice, that looks badass. Chris was saying, in case you were wondering, while why he was I taping this it, tape up at the end. And why did you do that? To keep this from sliding back down and down the exhaust pipe. Scratching I don't feel like taping the whole thing up. Right. So this way now it's gonna kind of stay up here. Right. And this would be like a security measure if it was to correct go down. It would still get stopped by the bunch that's like kind of over here too. Yep. Nice. I dig it, man. Now, we're gonna tape this one up. I'm gonna get this one on. And you and I are gonna head to our local hardware store and get the things that we need to get this guy mounted up properly. Use this line visually, the black line, the hard frame line. These lines line up. So it's straight with the frame, but that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I think it's at. awesome, man. So looking at this, we can actually come up with our own ways to bolt these. So for example, you can weld that tab right there, cut that off, weld it onto the frame, and then we've got it bolted here. And then again, these, these are totally for example, but we do a similar situation here to connect that, it doesn't really have to go very far. So this would probably have a piece that comes out bent out 90, and then the T-bolt would go through it. All right. And that. There you go. So besides doing some modification or custom work to getting the exhaust to be mounted to the frame, Here's what it looks like so far. We're also gonna move this ignition switch. Oh yeah, it's just melting this off. Hey. Or like you burn your hand trying to like yeah, turn your bike noise. off. All right, so Chris got the exhaust on. There are a few things we need to do here. We are gonna relocate the ignition 
and we are going to modify the brackets. Chris went ahead and found this piece. But we're gonna make some new brackets out of this one. We'll cut this little ear off, make a nice straight cut across there, and then we'll figure out exactly how much of this we need <coughs> to go from, let's do this one, it's easier to see, to go from there to there. And then we'll cut this off. We'll make it nice and pretty. We'll drill a hole and by the time it's done, you'll never know what this was. We do have to modify this, like Chris said, but unfortunately right now our floors are being redone. So as you guys can see over here, this half of the shop is about stripped away and then we'll be making our way all the way down to the other side. But for now, Chris got the exhaust on. Why don't you guys go ahead, leave a comment what you guys think right now of the fishtails on the bike, because I think it looks super rad. What do you think? Super rad. Huh? Super rad. It looks Super radical, rad. dude. <laughs> All right, so we will be back when the floors are done on that side. So we'll catch you guys when we can come back and continue where we left off here. What's up, guys? Welcome to the shop. Holy shit. It's camera time. Oh, boy. It's my favorite. <laughs> Yay. And you're back. I'm back. Where are you back from? The brink of death. Did you get the dreaded COVID? I did. You did. It sucked. Yeah. Well, 10 out of 10 would not recommend, guys. I had it. I'm I pretty know. sure I got it from you. Honestly. You didn't get it from me. Yeah. You remember that one day we were filming the vent video no. and we were standing like this far apart and you were like, all right, guys, now the, you're going to vent it out of the. came out and everybody's like, what the <laughs> is wrong with him? <laughs> Separate video. Beep. <laughs> yeah, I'm back and uh, this is the progress that they've gotten really on the. Yes, yeah, so I know you guys don't care that I'm back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the progress that they've gotten on the sucker like punch. <laughs> <laughs> you see, see guys, like, yeah, there we go. He's back, Justin. yeah, Justin's back. He's back. He's, back. He's, He's back. in black. I'm back, yeah. I'm wearing black. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for your understanding in my uh, absence. I reviewed the footage and I sounded like absolute dog shit on the phone. And that's because, going in this cut. Yeah, it's because I felt like dog shit. And it's gonna go in this cut. So I've come back and they've been working on the sucker punch a bit. Um, they're saying basically the next steps we have are making a bracket, which Chris has already done a little template for right here. Well, this is a very rounded, ugly looking bracket, but I mean, it's the base, basic shape and then we'll trim it. and make it look neat before we're done. All right, let's get some beautiful bean footage. Ooh, Justin, edit that in. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh, <laughs> what footage are we talking about? <laughs> B-roll, bro, the oh, B-roll. I thought we were talking about beans. What are you, beans? Oh, Ow, bushes, beans? Actual really? beans? Like doodling the beans or what? What, what are Whoa. you talking about? Whoa. Whoa. You guys will soon learn, Justin's a, <laughs> Justin's a freak. <laughs> We're talking about the B-roll here, bro. Let's 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 B-roll. Bracket is on. Also, Bagger Bros here. Hey, how's it hang? Boom! Oh! That's cool. <laughs> For some reason, in videos, people seem to think that Eric's getting booted out because of working with Chris. Totally getting booted out. <laughs> totally, 100%. I don't understand. No, Eric is not booted out. No, there is no bad blood with Eric. Man, fuck block. <laughs> I love this guy. Who said Dude, that? There's, there's been a couple people that are like, I haven't seen Bagger, bro. Is he getting booted out because you're working with Chris now? I'm like, what are you talking oh, about? Man. No, like we're all friends. We're all friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What up, I Missy? think something just poked me. We're, we're all that? a little too my, friendly. Like he's my Harley key. Okay. <laughs> my house to block shop is, is super far. It's about almost an hour. So to get out here is kind of a ride. It's a good way. Or a drive. Yeah. But I mean, when I'm here, I love it. You know, and I love seeing this guy and this guy. It's a good time. Hey, man, you're always welcome, dude. Like I said, you man, got dedicated off of you. I don't like it. But no, guys, there's no, no bad blood. No, Eric is not going anywhere. Like, I don't... That's I, funny, man. Y'all have drama Dude, course. it is ridiculous, man. <laughs> so Eric just said, are you sure you want to give this bike away? I said, no, like, I don't want to give this bike away. But here we are. 
what did I say? I'm just kidding. The cap's on. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll and uh, extra, like, Chris also said that we don't need to give this bike away. He I said we need to back out on the offer. I said that's not how it works. <laughs> We're basically committed. You guys are, y'all are, one of y'all is going to win this motorcycle. If you guys are interested in entering yeah. to possibly win it, go to blockheadmotor.com, sign up, become a member, select a tier, and no, you guys are in. No, unfortunately, you guys are not allowed to win it. Hello, my name is Mr. Burns. <laughs> We're having a uh, close call with the oil tank there. So we pulled the exhaust out and we're gonna add some spacers. So we've got Basically, the bracket. that's gonna go there and that's gonna go there. And that'll stay out off the oil tank. And then we'll make a piece of, take a piece of flat bar and bend it from here to here. Right now, this is how the bracket looks. We will clean it up and trim it and I'll show the final shape when we're done. But. This is to start with, starting point. Back to drilling. All right, next bracket. Boom, Chris already hammered it out. Look at that. Well, we're gonna just straighten it a little bit more. Remember, I mean, these are all test fit, but there's the bottom one. Yeah, we'll just level this out a little bit more. What do you think I'm gonna say? Oh, no, it's cool. You're cool. Yeah, cool guy. What does Justin say? Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, that's Sheesh. See? That's Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> how old do you guys think Justin is? Post down in the comments below. How old do you guys think? Oh, that'll be fun. I haven't even One. shaved now, so I'm like a little bit older, but how old do you guys think I am? A little bit older? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I look a little bit more well, mature like now that week. my my stash is <laughs> coming in a little bit, you know what I mean? Well. <laughs> right, post down in the comments below. We'll let you guys know by the end of the video how old Justin is. <laughs> but drop your best guesses. Yeah, dude. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> Little brackets made. They're just sitting there for now. We'll clean, take them off, clean them up, paint them. Hold that. Hold that. And uh, uh, trim them up and remount them. What do you think? Looks good, dude. I like it. Yeah. Looks really good. Good call. All you guys out there that voted, y'all think? Good. Yeah. All right, guys, sorry for the uh, delay here. It's uh, the next day. We actually forgot to film an outro on installing the upswept fishtails for the Sucker Punch giveaway. Chris did an awesome job, custom bracketry, getting everything on. I don't know if you guys remember, but in a previous video, one of these um, flange bolts was broken. We were able to basically recover that, so drill it out and then uh, re-tap or re-thread. It's basically good to go. Next up, we are gonna be fixing a leak on the left side of the case, so we're gonna be taking Taking some parts off basically the belt off here getting to trying to find that leak and then we ordered some parts for spacing this out uh, a little differently so that the brake hits on more of the pad so we got to basically straighten that up so we're making some good progress on it though and then we got to do headlight as well and then we'll do a uh, seat which i have over there might as well just go grab it and put it over here there we go chop a seat so we're basically replacing this uh, brown one uh, for a black one. Before I had the bike painted from Bombshell, this beautiful paint job, it was black and so I had brown grips, brown seat, and then it was black so it looked good. But since we've changed it up, we gotta switch out. We're gonna do black seat, so new seat for it. And then we also have a polishing compound that we bought to clean up this a little bit. Now this was a source of debate. Uh, we were talking about polishing, cleaning, uh, all this stuff up but a lot of you guys were saying to leave it as is because it has like character it shows character or something but y'all let me know your thoughts comment down below i don't know i guess make a good informed decision from there but that's the episode we're gonna get some of this stuff polished up cleaned up that's the bracket chris did a great job on that you guys be sure to go give him a follow coolest guy ever 25 year master level technician i think he's on the other side of that bike there give him a shout at sick wide glide hope you guys enjoyed this one hope y'all are uh, enjoying the uh the pipes i think they came out great they look awesome i'm super jealous i really hate the fact that we're giving away this motorcycle <laughs> like i really just i would rather not give this bike away it's it just it's a sick bike so hope y'all are stoked that we are giving it away though if you do want to enter the giveaway go to blockheadmotor.com sign up and then after you sign up select a tier and then you're basically entered for the giveaway based on whatever tier option you choose there you also get other perks 
like access to our Discord. You get discounts uh, on merch at the shop, early access to episodes, and more. So pretty cool uh, additional perks that you also get. If you guys have any comments on this, any questions, be sure to drop it down in the comments below. That really helps us out a lot. If you guys did enjoy it, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Helps us out a lot on YouTube. Let's YouTube know that we're doing a good job. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Statistically, I wanna say we've brought that down from 62% of you guys not being subscribed to like 56%. So we're getting more subscribers, which is awesome. It's free, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As Chris says, click that b hit that bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Till next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.